declare in the door that was shut against my finances, my marriage, my destiny, my promotion, my travel, my contact, my ministry, my destiny, my children, my family. In the door that was shut in the door of iron that the enemy has shut against my life, my prayer. I declare, oh God, arise, oh God, arise, arise. As the breaker and break the door and break the door and break the door, and break the door. I declare today I will break, I will break, I will break every door, I will break every gate, I will break every window, I will break right now. I will break every opposition. I will break technicalities. I will break. I will climb. I will advance. I will move. I will run. I will ascend right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, my God. Don't forget, limitations are not because of the lack of inability. You can do that job. Oh my God. Get married and see. And they will see the best mother. The best wife. Those that are doing too know. They ain't seen you yet. They, they think they are wives. And they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. But yours is a limited what? Opportunity. But today we are creating our own opportunity. You have not been in a place before. I remember those days when we were going to University of Ghana. Those days, we were not doing registration online. We were doing registration. We would go and line up at the faculty. How many of you were there those days? Line up. Long queue. Long queue. And when you close also, you are going to line up long queue for Trotro. My God, one day I was there. Me, I'm gentle. I was sitting there. I realized that where I was, that is where I was. If you are not forceful, eh, where you are, that be, that be where you go there. I was seeing people come. They get down from the car now, then they enter. Mm. Madina, the station. Yes, sir. I said, what's going on? That place. Mm. Long queue. Mm, and for place. three hours, buses were coming and going. Mm. But where I was, mm. there no idea. Ah. You don't pray. Uh -huh. Where you are, there no you go day. You are being gentle. gentle. Where you did, there no you go day. You go day sir. Then something came upon me. Ah. Something came upon yeah. me. Yeah. Oh. I moved closer Something came upon you, I to the queue and I was walking about. I was walking about and I saw the guy. One of the guys, I saw him and I knew that he just came. And he was standing to, the, he was the second person. I said, you, you can't cross before me. Can't you sense that some people can't cross before you? There are certain yes, people sir. you cannot allow them to cross. Mm. Yeah. My God, the devil is alive. It is an affront to your integrity as a Christian. I said, this car cannot cross before me. My God, the bus came. And by the time the bus came, I was hanging on the door. The bus came to pass. Before the bus stopped, I jumped. And I hung on the door. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guys yeah. wanted to pull me down. They say, hey, hey, where are you coming from? Hey, hey, hey. I was inside. Come and remove me. Come and take me out. They, they put it. I forcefully entered there. And I checked out and I saw those who were around me when I was at the backside, they were still there. And I'm, I was like, hey, Goffrey, they'll, come, they'll get home at 12 a.m. You must be forceful and aggressive. Tell somebody be forceful and aggressive. Be forceful, forceful and aggressive. And aggressive. I, I entered in my bag. Somebody was holding my bag. I pulled my bag into the car. You are entering with all your possession. No. Nothing of yours will be left behind. Yeah. Say by force, by the force of prayer, by the force of prayer, I declare a breakthrough, a way out, 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 a way out. Can we break the door one more time? Yes, sir. Can we break the door one more time? Yes, sir. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we break the door for the prophet of God? Yes, sir. Ah, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say by prayer. By prayer. Say by fire. By fire. Say tonight, tonight. As we lift up, we lift up. Our, voice, our voice. As the gathering as the of the saints, of, of the remnant, of the house, of empowerment. I stand in the gap. In the gap. By prayer, by prayer. We, declare we declare every door before, before the seven of, of the Lord. Lord. As we lift up our voice. Our voice. Let's Touch us, touch us. Say break, break. Say break. break. Say break. break. Say break. break. Say break. break. As I clap break. my hands break. and stamp break. my feet, break. I declare break. the breaker will break us 
Shout it out. Clap your hands and pray. I am, 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 I
today is yeah. because of this man's obedience. Can you celebrate yeah. him one more time? Hallelujah. Let's decree and declare that any door before the prophet of God, oh, right now, let that door break open. Break open. My God, the breaker is coming before us. The breaker is in the building. The breaker is in the building. Any door that will open, say break open. Break open. My God, any door of iron, in a difficult place that they say the prophet can't enter. Say, break up here. Say, break up here. 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 Break Say in the name of Jesus. Ah, say by prayer. Say as we lift our voice, we call upon the breaker. Say the breaker for a breakthrough. The breaker for a breaking forth. The breaker to break out for the prophet. We declare in the door that has refused to open by the key of the word of the Lord. By prayer, we declare. That door say break, 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 My God, Isaiah 45. Can we give that scripture? Let's go. Isaiah 45. That saith the Lord God unto my anointed Cyrus. The anointed people need some doors to be broken. Ah, that saith the Lord unto my anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I have with him, to subdue nations under him. And I will lose before him the loins of kings to open to him some doors. Some doors are already open. Ah, open to him some doors. The two leaf gates, and the gates shall not be shut. But the part two of that scripture, ah, I will go before him and make crooked paths straight. The part two said, I will break in pieces. The second level is that some doors that will open, they must break open. And those doors are gates of brass. They are hard things. They are hard metal. And they hard thing. And they hard place that the prophet of God must enter. For the servant of God, right now we are declaring, let the Lord God, our breaker, say break open. Say break up here. My God, financial in ministry, in marriage, anything ah, that has become a gate before the servant of God cannot enter, we are declaring by prayer. Let that gate that say gate. break up here. Break up here. My God, try key after key, it is not working. The only option is that the door before us must go down. What door is before the servant of God? Can we force it in the place of prayer? Can we all with one push push that door down? Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say by prayer. prayer. Say by fire. Say as I lift up my voice and I clap my hands in the place of prayer. I declare let the door before the servant of the door of the Lord come down. Come Come down, come down, come down, lift up your voice. 
Second Samuel chapter 23, verse 11. We want to pray some strategic prophetic prayers right now. My God, my God, when you break certain things open, the thing is that once you are broken open, everybody can also enter. That place was inaccessible until you broke it open. And the door that was meant to keep the people out, you open it. So now everybody thinks they can come in. As you break open, you must secure the door. You must secure the place. But the Bible says, and after him was Shammah, the son of Agi the Hararite. And the Philistines were gathered together into a troop where was a piece of ground ah, full of lentils, full of opportunities, full of blessing, uh, full of favor, yeah. full of abundance, yeah. full of marriages, yeah. full of wealth. Yeah. There was a piece of land yeah. and the people fled. Uh. Hey. God. There are many of us that run away from battle. Mm. God gave you something, but because of small contention, you run away. No, not a son of this house, not a son of the prophet, not the child of empowerment worship center. We do battle. I love it when my father says, everything he does is battle. Even when then the preaching is warfare. My God. Ah, look at what happened. My God, verse 12, verse 12. What did Shama do? But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and slew the Philistines. And the Lord wrought a great victory. God is waiting on you to take a stand yeah. for what he has given us. For the grounds, for the property, for the blessing, for the family he has given us. And tonight we are lifting up prayers that whatever God 
God has given the servant of God any ground, any item, any yep. blessing, yep. any yep. property, any yep. Peter yep. that belongs to the servant of God yes. that the enemy has targeted. Yes. This ground, as we lift up prayers, let the Lord arise, arise. and let the enemy yes. be destroyed. Yes. He, said he, he defended it. He stood in the midst of it. My God, we are standing in the middle of prayer factory. We are making a stand right now. And we are connecting to everything that belongs to the prophet. Any item, any connector, anything of his, any mantle, any mandate, any assignment, any blessing, any family, anything that God has given to him. Anything that God, actually what is given to him is a trust. Anything that God has entrusted to him. It may be your life, it may be your family. Whatever is in the hands of the prophet, we are making stand. And the Bible said this was one of the great men of David. They were ordinary. They were broke. Oh, I don't want to go into the portfolio of them. They were, they didn't have anything. Bible says that the dejected, the poor, the broken, the castrated, the frustrated, those that did not have any money, those that were in debt, they came to David and this was one of them. He said, in spite of my issues, I am going to take a stand. I'm going to defend the land. I'm going to lift up prayers and today by prayer, anything that the enemy has targeted in the life of the prophet has to lift up prayers, say can we pray right now are you ready to pray there is a piece of land there is a, there is a blessing it's a full of lentils full of lentils a man of God is a, 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 one of the parables say a man found a piece of land that was full of, of what treasure he sold all he had to get it there are certain things that when you find them there are certain people that when you find them, you must do all you can to keep them. That's why the Bible says prayers were made without ceasing for Peter. Can we make prayers for our Peter? Can we secure our Peter right now? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Has this house been a blessing to you? Has the prophet been a blessing to you? Has standing in the gap been a blessing to you? Has empowerment been a blessing to you? It is full of blessing. Can we secure it? Too much. Can we secure it? Yes, sir. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh my God. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say tonight. tonight. I, make I make a stand. I stand, I stand, I stand in the gap in the on behalf on of, of my father. My and anything that, that the Lord has, Lord has given has unto him. Yes. As I lift up I lift my up. voice. I, I make I a stand. I, stand. I, defend, I defend the interest of, of the servant of, of, of the Lord. As I clap my hands. I declare. Any assignment of the enemy against the prophet of God by prayer, let that assignment by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, clap your hands and pray.
Second Samuel 23. Second Samuel 23, verse 9. Second Samuel 23, verse 9. Second Samuel 23, verse 9. My God. Second Samuel 23, verse 9. And after him was Eliazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men with David. When they defied the Philistines, when they defied, you are going to defy certain things in your life. We are going to defy certain orders. There are certain things that say you cannot get married. You cannot. There are certain orders. Uh, when they defy means they rebelled against the order of their time. They rebelled against the instructions of their time. They rebelled against the proceedings of their time. That says it must take 20 years for you to break through. That says until you know so and so and such and such. You cannot get to a certain place. They defied the order. They broke through. They advanced. They made it. And today I prophesy over your life somebody. Prophesy. We are defying the order of the day. That says times are hard. We are going to make it. We are going to break through. We are going to transform our families. Can you put your hands together? Say yes. Tell somebody, don't quench the spirit. It's 48 hours non-stop prayer. Oh, we didn't go so that you relax. <laughs> we didn't stop so that you relax. We want to fire some arrows so that you can go back to prayer. 
Oh, but this scripture is for you. It said, when they defy the Philistines that were gathered together, my God, there is a gathering against us. There is a gathering against the servant of God. There is a gathering against our lives. There is a gathering against our finances. There is a gathering. But arise, oh God, and let the gathering be scattered. And the gathering against your advancement. And the gathering against this house. And the gathering against standing the gap. And the gathering against the prophet of God. Say, be scattered. Be scattered. The Philistines were gathered together and the men of Israel were gone away. Can I tell you, not many people will stand with you when you are fighting against the enemy. Many people come, they are fair weather friends. When problem comes, they'll run, when problem comes, they'll run away. There are some of you, we are with the church, we are with the church, we are with the church. Pro issue come, then we'll see who is really with the prophet. Oh, prophet, get up, prophet, get up. Come and pray, Paul. look at what you are doing. Many of the people of Israel ran away when they saw opposition. By God, but I love you people. I love standing in the God family. We are the people that look at the face of opposition and say, we are coming after you. We are coming after you. You have taken our children. You have taken our lands. We are coming after you. Who is ready to go after the enemy? Who is ready to pursue the enemy today? Say, I'm going after them. The next verse. Oh my God. The reason why this scripture is for you. And he arose and smote the Philistines. Until what? Oh, can somebody read for me? Until what? Oh, until his hands were weary. Uh, and his hand clave unto the sword. And the Lord wrought a great victory. Can I tell you in your tiredness, that is when God will show up. My God, can I promise, prophesy over you? I know you are going down. I know you are growing weary. But that is the time that the word of God, that the sword ah, is more efficient. The Bible says, and his hand was weary. But at that time, the sword, the sword cleaved to his hand. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Lord, is sharper when you are down. Ah, when you are weak, then he is strong. In your weakness, that's why Paul said, most gladly therefore, would I rejoice in my infirmities for when I am weak then he is strong tonight you are going to pray you are going to fire prayer you are going to rise once again Bible says he arose he was tired he was weary but he arose he was tired he was weary there was fatigue all over he had been in a battle for 48 hours we are just about hitting 24 hours we are just about we are 22 hours and a few coins away from what ah the halfway mark the devil is a liar 6 p.m. today I want to congratulate you that you are making it across the halfway mark. The devil is a liar. With 24 more hours to go, I see the enemy running for cover. I see you winning. I see you victorious. Can you clap your hands? Say yes. Oh, he arose and he smote the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand cleaved to the sword and the Lord wrought a great victory that day. And the people return after him only to spoil. Oh my God. I don't want to go into that, but can we rise right now? Can we fight in the world? My God, my God, my God. I love the people who fought although they were tired. My God, the God that we serve was with Gideon and his mighty men. And the Bible said they were pursuing. Ah, they were tired. They were fainting, but yet they pursued. Ah, faint, yet pursuing. The devil is a liar. My God, you will not stop because you are tired. You will not stop because you are Warrior. Ah, the devil is a liar. Ah, Judges chapter 8, verse 4. And Gideon came to Jordan and he crossed over. My God, you are coming to the halfway mark. Ah, Judges. Ah, chapter 8, verse 4. And the Bible says, And Gideon, and Prophet Gideon and his men, and Prophet Gideon and stand in the gap, and Prophet Gideon, and Empowerment Worship Center. Judges chapter 8, verse 4. Judges 8, 4. And he commanded them, say, Behold, oh. I can't, I can't get it. Judges. Chapter 8 verse 4. You have put Joshua. It is not Joshua. I said Judges. Judges. Chapter 8. Give them the scripture. My God. Makubra de Balabra. Can we read the scripture together? Is it there? One, go, one to go. It says what? Oh, you are not reading. You are reading like we are in Makalanta. 
My granddad's when they say, Yeah, mutu manza, yeah, mutu. Everybody shouting, Wele, wele, ba, wele. No, no, no. Let's do it together. Harmony, synchrony. My God, want to go. And Gideon came to Jordan and passed over. He and the 300 men that were with him faint by what? Yet pursuing. My God, faint. Tired by yet pushing. They came to the halfway mark. The devil is a liar. The prophet is counting on you. My God, you are more than 300. And today the Bible says they were faint by you were pursuing. And they didn't stop until the enemy Enemy was vanquished. They didn't stop until their lives have been transformed. By prayer today, we declare we are going after the devil. Lift up your voice. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I can't feel you. Can you come close to the altar? I know you are securing your seat. I know you just saw someone move your back. That's why you went back. We secure your seat in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, I know somebody move your back. So as we're praying, you were praying, and you just saw somebody move your back. And say, yeah, may come back. But your seat is secured in the name of Jesus. There are powerful seats, and it's not about the physical seat. There are seats in heavenly places, and you must take your position right now. You must take your position by the altar. Come, come, let's pray. Come, let's fire. Come, let's fire. Come, let's fire. Come, let's fire. Eh? If anybody takes your seat, come and tell me. <laughs> come and tell me. Oh, 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 don't come and come and speak to me. I will deal with them for you. Nobody is taking your seat. Oh, boy, as you are fighting for the prophet, the devil is a liar. They are, they are busy for seats. <laughs> Bible says that the apostle said we will not waste our time on tables and chairs, but we'll give ourselves to what? To prayer and the word of God. Let them fight over your chair. You are giving yourself to prayer and to the word of the Lord. You are giving yourself to pray and stand in the gap by prayer today. Ah, you are faint, but you are going after anything that is yours, anything that has your name. The devil is a liar. Bidian had invaded Israel. They had scattered them and they were running away with all the goose. And Gideon and his men said, this is the child, the prophet of God. You saw him enter. And he left. This is just the instruction he came to. He said we should go after anything that is ours. Anything of ours that the enemy has made a target and is coming after. We are lifting up prayers. We are declaring we are pursuing her. Tired by pursuing her. Broken by pursuing her. Demobilized by pursuing her. Depressed by pursuing her. Can you go after something right now? Oh my God, can you pursue them? He said, and they came to the Jordan and they cross over. I prophesy that you cross over. You get to the other side. The other side of life. The better side. There is life there. There, promotion there, marriage there, breakthrough there. You are going to the other side. The prophet of God. Lift up your hands, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Say by prayer. By prayer. Say by fire. By fire. Say I declare right now. In the place of prayer, I pursue, I go after anything of mine that was stolen by the enemy, anything of mine, anything of the prophet that the enemy has made a target, anything that the enemy has hijacked by prayer, I declare, I pursue, overtake, and recover, I pursue, overtake, and recover, I pursue. Overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover. You are tired, but you will get it. Because it is not over until it is over. They got to the Jordan and some people, David and his mighty men got to the Jordan and some of them decided to rest. When they got to the end and they were sharing the booty, some people said, you people didn't cross with us. So you are not part of it. You don't cross and push. Somebody will start content and tell you you don't deserve the marriage. You don't deserve the breakthrough. You don't deserve my God. But as you are tired, 
crying and sweating in the place of prayer. Nobody can contest against your miracle. When you sit in your car, when you sit in your house, when you are enjoying your family, no devil will contest with it. I prophesy over your life that as you are tired, but pursuing, as you are fainting, yet going after, you will recover all. Say, recover all. Can we go into prayer right now? Can we go into prayer right now? They said pursuing them. What were they pursuing? They were pursuing them. Tell somebody I'm pursuing them. Pursuing them. Ah, if somebody asks you, what are you doing? Say, I'm going after them. Who are going you going after? after? Somebody stole my marriage. Somebody took my, 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 my glory. Somebody took my joy. Somebody took my peace. Somebody took my advancement. Somebody took my promotion. Somebody took my blessing. Somebody stole my money. My God, has somebody lost anything? Have you lost opportunities? Have you lost blessing? You are a candidate for this prayer. Lift up your voice. Say in the name of Jesus. I can't feel you. You are not. Have you lost something? Have you missed an opportunity to travel, oh. to break through, oh. to get a job? Oh. Have you missed any opportunity? You must be aggressive. Their hunger was too much for the tiredness. Have you seen anybody that is very hungry and say, I'm too tired to eat? That person is not hungry. You are not hungry. A bianya bimpa, hunger catch you. Jesus. Then you say you are tired. You are not hungry enough. Is there anybody that is hungry enough yeah. for a blessing? Yeah. Are you desperate yeah. about what you are going after? Yeah. Are you sick and tired of being at the same place? You are going after them. Yeah. Can we pursue them now? Yeah. I've lost certain things and I'm going after them. Anyone that has come after anything belonging to you, belonging to this, this house, belonging to the prophet of God, some of you, they took it when you were on our west. The Bible says that, and the woman laid on her child and she died. Uh, and in the middle of the night, she swapped. Uh, she took her dead child uh, and laid it by me uh, and took my living child. In the middle of the night, things happened. Uh, some of you, your blessing was stolen at night. Uh, uh, some of you, whilst you were sleeping, uh, the Bible says, while men slept, uh, an enemy came uh, and planted tears. Uh, it was not so uh, from the beginning. Uh, Somebody is messing uh, with your blessing. Somebody is messing up your farm. Somebody is messing up your joy. Somebody is interfering with your abundance. But by prayer, we are going after them. Say in the name of Jesus. The wickedness of that scripture is that he said, and he planted tears and he went his way. He planted tears and he went scot free. But not on my farm. You can't come and misbehave in my farm and go scot free. That's the wickedness. Of, he said the enemy planted tears and went his way. He didn't pay for the wickedness. When Bible has said that, oh my God, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If you sow wickedness, you will reap on right. My God, the devil is a liar. By prayer, by fire, somebody must pay for what I'm going through, for what I lost. I am desperate. No tiredness will stop me. By prayer, by fire, say in the name of Jesus. Can we recover right now? Say by prayer. Say by fire. Say tonight, as I lift up my voice and I clap my hands, I go after anything that the enemy has stolen from my life. Anything that was taken on our ways, I declare right now, anything of mine that was stolen under the covering of darkness by prayer as I clap my hands I pursue, overtake recover all, clap your hands and pray.
place of prayer. In the place of prayer, we overtake. 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 No matter how far they have gone in your case, you will overtake. No matter how complicated the matter has got, you will overtake. You will overcome. Oh my God. You will overthrow them, overtake, overtake, overtake by the hand of the Lord. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah after prayer. And he overtook the fastest chariot of the wicked. The devil is a liar. Overtake the wicked. Overtake the wicked. Overtake the wicked. Overtake the wicked. Your time, 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 your time,
over where they say you can't cross you will cross places they say you can't go you will go my God, I see somebody traveling. My God, they said it was impossible, Prophet but you are going to be the first. Oh my God, they came to Jordan where many had stopped and they crossed over. You will cross that mark. You will go beyond that barrier where they said it's impossible for men in your family, for women in your family. You are going to cross. You are going to make it. You are going to achieve. You will be successful. Clap your hands and say, cross over. Jordan was not a walkover. Jordan was not the normal land you walk over. It was a river. And sometimes the Bible says that it flooded the whole area. So it was difficult to cross. But Gideon, but Prophet Gideon, ah, and then people at prayer factory yeah. are standing in the gap yeah. and all the people that were with him yeah. but the prophet of God yeah. this is a prophetic scripture yeah. uh, it says that if you are with the prophet uh, standing in the gap whatever river you must cross yeah. whatever mountain you must climb yeah. whatever place you must get to yeah. in order to fulfill destiny yeah. I see you getting there yeah. I see you going there yeah. I see you reaching there yeah. say yes yeah. And they pass over. Oh, you will pass. Ah, you will pass over. Oh my God, you will pass. You will pass that interview. You will pass that check. You will pass that exam. You will pass that application. You will pass the schedule. You will pass the cross examination. Somebody is going to pass. You are going to pass. You are going to pass. You are going to pass through. You are going to pass that boundary. You are going to go beyond that mark. I prophesy over your life. In life, there are exams. There are tests. And every test has a pass mark. But I see you doing better. Oh my God, oh my God. Every issue you are dealing with, you will pass over. I see you overcoming. Passing means you overcome. I see you overcoming. All your trials, all your issues, all your situations, you will pass over. Say pass over. They say he and the 300 men that were with him. 300 pursuing 20,000. Impossible things. Impossible things. Small boy pursuing a million dollar contract. Impossible, right? But you will do it. Amen. My God, my God, my God. Oh, you have Lord. never done it, but there is a first time to everything. My God, small girl getting such level of favor. When they look at your size, when they look at your degree, when they look at your background and the corresponding blessing, it will not make sense. But this is how God does it. So that man will serve him. I prophesy over your life that your blessing will not match your situation. Because I sense that God is about 
about to blow your mind. Yes. Can you clap your hands? Say yes. 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 300 pursuing 20,000. Small girl pursuing a career meant for expatriates. A career that you are, you are applying. They say, that thing is too troublesome. Why? Hey, CEOs and employ, employers, why do you do that? We are, we are looking for job. They say that job experience, 10 years. 10 years. Me, me I finished school that way. Yeah. Then my first job, I'm applied. They say job experience. My God, you, it doesn't matter your experience. I see you getting there. You are pursuing what they say is impossible. But you will surely overtake and you will recover it. You will get that job. You will get that assignment. You will get that contract. You will get that deal. Yeah. I sense a call coming through on Monday for somebody. And it is a call telling you you are passed. It is a call telling you you have made it. Can you clap your hands? Say yes. 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 Oh. 300 pursuing the impossible. They got to a place where they were tired. Fainting but yet pursuing. Can I tell you that is a place where the blessing is released. That is, that is why not all men are blessed. Because many got to the place where they were tired. And what was the automatic response? Give up. The automatic response where you get to this place. All this blessing and Gideon came to Jordan and passed over here and the three hundred men with him. When this word comes in, when this word called faint, tired, fatigue, stress comes in, what is the automatic response? To give up, to give in, to stop it, to let go. But the Bible says there was another response. These were men of another caliber. These were men of another fiber. Their DNA was not correct. It had been messed up by the blood. Uh, it had been messed up by something. So when men get to the place and they are cast down, you say there is a lifting up. When men get to a place and they want to give up, you say I am pursuing. I am going after that job. When they get to a place where they say it is impossible, you say it is possible. My God, somebody is going to break through today. Are you ready to fire one last prayer? Then EWC Live will take in and usher us and I sense the man of God has come, has landed. Pastor John Hannah has landed from the U.S. of A. Yeah. He's bringing fire. He's a man of prayer. And very soon the prophet of God will come and, and, and introduce him to the house to lead us into another level. Say another level. Don't get tired, though. Don't get tired. Persu I, I say what? Tired by what? Pursuing. You must be ready to go after everything. Eh? You have got some, but you must go after more. Say there is more. Oh, tell somebody there is more. There is more. There is more. I was telling somebody that day, Dango, they stop, stop working. That is the day that me too, I'll stop doing some things. Because there is more. The man understands that there is more. No matter how much he has got it. Some of you, if you got what he got, but what retired five, ten years ago. But you can't stop. Tell somebody you can't stop. You can't stop. We will not stop. There is another dimension. Hallelujah. Can we fire this prayer? Can we fire this prayer? Ah, Samson said, I like that thing. Uh, Judges chapter 16, verse 28. I like that. When we were children, we used to use this as a, as a game. Judges chapter 16. Samson said, uh, we put it in a way. We put it in a way. Judges 16, verse 28. Can you give me that scripture quickly? Judges 16, you are in Judges. So it shouldn't be difficult for you to locate it. Let me see if I can do it before you get there. Judges 16, 28. Mm. And Samson called unto the Lord and said unto the Lord, O Lord God, remember me, I pray. Divine remembrance. That's what we're going to pray for first. I pray thee and strengthen me, divine strength. I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may once avenge the Philistines for my two eyes. Bible says vengeance belongs to God. But Bible says that by the anointing we proclaim the day of vengeance of the Lord. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach. 
He has anointed me to preach. And one place he has anointed me to prophesy and declare is the day of vengeance of the Lord. There is a day that the devil must pay for everything they did to you. They did to your father. They did to your mother. Somebody must pay for the trouble you went through, for the tears, for the pain you suffered. Somebody must pay so that they know that you are not to be played with. If they get away, they will not enjoy. Judges 16, and then, yeah, my God. Can we pray for the media team? 10, let's finish that. Judges 16, verse 28. What's happening? It's frozen. Or it's not there. Judges 16, verse 28. When we were children, we watched the movie, and in the movie, Samson said something. He said, like, God, give me my last power or something. So, 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 so when we were children, when we are fighting now, then we say, give me, God, give me my last power. This is how God, he said, and Samson called upon the Lord and said, Lord, remember me. Don't forget me. And also don't forget what the enemy did to me. Don't forget me means don't forget the pain I suffered. Don't forget the tears I shed. Don't forget the stress I went through. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Some of us, we forget too easily. You suffered pain and somebody must pay. He said, oh Lord God, remember me, I pray. It is in the place of prayer that you get divine remembrance. He said, remember me, I pray. My God, and strengthen me, I pray thee. Only this once. This is the place where we, the, another version said, my last power. God, give me my last power that I may destroy with your last energy, my God. Ah, we are at the halfway mark. We just crossed 23 hours. We are by 6 o'clock. We would have done 24 hours. My God, you are doing so well. My God, my God. Ah, but before the halftime whistle is blown with your last power, my God, one of the most strategic goals every coach wants his players to score is the goal just before halftime the devil is a liar when you are playing soccer you must score it is a strategic goal it changes the halftime tiktok it changes the situation and today you are going to go in into halftime with a goal to your name I prophesy over your life that you are ending on a note of a victory can you put your hands together say yes yes oh lord God remember me say remember me Oh, say, remember me. Remember me. Bible says that the tears of the saints are precious in the sight of God. He said, God has a special bottle that he keeps your tears. That night you were crying. Don't forget, God hasn't forgotten. And some which will die tonight because of you. Somebody will pay tonight because of you. Somebody will be broken tonight. Somebody will paralyze tonight. Somebody will die tonight. Samson said, oh God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. What they took from me. My God, I know you can restore, but avenge me of my enemies. The spirit of the Lord is upon me to declare the day of vengeance of the Lord. Today is the day of vengeance. Let the Lord have vengeance. Oh God of vengeance. Avenge your saints. Right the prophet of God. May the Lord strike them right now. Can we strike them? Can we strike them? Can we strike them? Can we strike them? Oh, can you rise to your feet? It's almost half time. EWC Live will come very now. Hey, right now, you know that it's half time. Eh? Can you? Let's all rise. Let's all rise. Something said, God, give me my last power. My God. Oh, my God. Let's all rise. Let's all rise. All over the place. All over the place. Let's go after some enemies. Pursuing your enemies means going after them. Some of them, they think you have forgotten. You have them forgotten. For every pain that you suffer, somebody must pay. If they don't pay, they will come back. They will come back and mess up again. Somebody must know that they cannot touch you. It's not everybody you touch.
are going to stop the second attack. Affliction shall not rise again. The second time, affliction will not rise in your house again because the enemy will be struck tonight. Say yes. Yes. Many of you suffering the same thing, same thing, and you are not rising. I will say, awake, oh sleeper. You have been sleeping for too long. While men slept, an enemy came and messed up and wanted to run away. But today we are going after. We are catching thieves. We are catching witches. And only the suspects are not excited. My God, if you are praying and somebody is not praying, be careful. Oh. Uh, just, just maybe move a few steps away and fire away. Because you, don't, you have no idea. You have no idea. My God, it is vengeance against the wicked. There is a sword in your hand. Can you lift up your hand like a sword? Can you lift up your hand like a sword? The sword is blazing with fire. It is going to enter into your house. Entering into some quarters. It is going to your hometown. It is going into some room. There is a pot under the the bed that must be broken. Ah, there is a shrine that must be destroyed. Somebody, your marriage is under that pot. Somebody, your help is under that pot. But by divine vengeance, the Lord will strike them. The Lord will strike them. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, say by prayer. Say by fire. Say, I declare tonight as I lift up my voice. I declare, remember me. Oh God, remember me. Oh God, remember me. Oh God, remember me. Oh God, and all I have suffered at the hands of the wicked. Let the God of vengeance arise, 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 arise. Say in the name of Jesus. Say once. once. Say at once. At once. See, I love the way that he said, Oh God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines. Oh my God. Who wants immediate judgment? Who wants immediate judgment? They think you've forgotten. Two years ago, what happened? You have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. Oh. Somebody must pay. Nahum says that the Lord will surely not acquit the wicked. I love that scripture. Nahum is a very powerful one. Nahum chapter 1, when you read the book, it is talking about the wickedness of Nineveh. Nineveh did wicked things and they thought they could get away scot-free. Bible says God will surely not forget. He will surely not acquit the wicked. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter hand. And, and judgment shall pursue his enemies. The devil is a liar. And in that scripture, after the vengeance, then he said affliction shall not rise again. The second time, it is after you have been avenged yeah. that the enemy stays off your case. And I declare that after tonight, no devil will come on your case. In the name yeah. of Jesus. No devil will be on your case. In the name of Jesus. We are going to strike them. Are you ready to strike them? Yeah. Are you ready to strike them? Yeah. You are going to stay on it. You are going to stay on it. You are going to stay on it. If you touch a policeman's son and they come and slap you, next time when you see him, you will walk far away. You think it's everybody's child that you touch? Go and touch Akufuado's daughter and you'll you feel something. And you, a whole daughter of the king of kings, you are allowing people to touch you just coffee. You are allowing them to molest you, insult you, when your daddy is there. When your daddy is there. Look at how you are suffering. The prodigal son said, ah, even servants in my father's house are not treated this way. You dare not treat me like in my father's house. Even servants are not treated this way. Look at the way they are treating you. Look at the way a whole king of kings, a whole princess like yourself. Vengeance is here. Tell somebody vengeance is here. Vengeance is somebody here. will know whose daughter you are. Somebody will know that you are a daughter of a king. My God, somebody will know when you slap them, when they get a slap from heaven, they will know. That you are not ordinary. When you are talking, they think you are ordinary. They are joking with our prayers. As you are praying, they are laughing at you. As you have come to stand in the gap, they are laughing at you. They are saying it is what a waste of time. Why are you coming here? Why are you doing that? That is why we need vengeance. 
it is because of the way they talk. That is why we need vengeance. Many are saying, many there be that say of my soul, there is no help for me in God, but thou, O oh God, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I love that part of the scripture that says, he that sitteth in heaven will laugh. He will smite the enemy on the cheekbone. It means he'll give that cheekbone is this one. It means God can give the enemy a slap. Oh. Tonight, God is going to give the enemy a slap. Jesus. Are you ready? You haven't reported. That is why the enemy is going score free. Oh. But tonight, you are presenting your case. You are saying, Daddy, oh, Daddy, my God, I've been molested. I've been in pain. Who is worrying you? This guy. Have you seen what the children do? My, my daughter, she will report you right now. She's such she's a neural, she's such a snitch. Nobody has done anything. Daddy, Nisa, da, 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 da. I have to show that I'm a daddy. Even I know Nisa hasn't done anything. No. But the way your God, your God, you don't understand. Unless you are, you've been a father. You don't, I know she has not done, but I have to show something. You understand? Today your God will show something. In the name of Jesus. Even if it is your fault. That they molested you. Your God will show something. Will show something. You don't understand fatherhood. I know that New Real is at fault. But because she came to report. I just get up and I say. Nisa. And I say daddy it's not me. It's New Real. I say keep quiet. Because Nurel brought a case. I got to show up as a daddy. My God, today your God will show up. Ah. My God, you are not forgotten. Jesus. Your life has not been forgotten. Jesus. Your trouble has not been forgotten. Jesus. You've been through so much. That you have suffered too much to yes. let the enemy go. By prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are going to fire the prayer. Say by prayer. By prayer. Say by fire. by fire. Say I declare, I declare. Right, now, right now. Oh God. Oh God. Arise, arise. And judge. And judge. The wicked. The, the afflicted. The my life. My life. I, declare. I declare. Right now. Right now. According right. to the book. Yeah. Of Nahum. Oh chapter 1. Oh verse 3. Oh that says. Yeah. The, Lord the Lord. Will not. Will not acquit. The, the wicked. The I declare. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Anyone. Anyone. That molested. molested. My life. Anyone that hijacked my destiny, anyone that troubled my life, as the Bible declared, you trouble the people of God. Therefore, the Lord will trouble you. I declare, oh God, arise and avenge your sons and daughters right now. We declare, let the angel of vengeance strike them, strike them, strike them, strike them, strike them. Strike them, strike them, strike them. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Anyone, Anyone that is waiting, that is waiting to, laugh to laugh at the prophet, the prophet. To, laugh to laugh at me, at me. To, laugh to laugh at my predicament, at my circumstances. Anyone, Anyone that is waiting that is because, because of, what of what they know, they know. they've done, they done. I, declare. I declare, remember, oh God, oh God. your servant, oh remember, remember my tears, my remember, remember the pain, the pain. Remember, remember the issues. Avenge your servant, avenge your servant as I clap my hands and stamp my feet. I declare right now my day of vengeance is now. Clap your hands and pray.
Jesus by the anointing upon the house by the anointing of the prophet by the spirit of the Lord the spirit of the Lord is upon me to declare that day of vengeance of the Lord against all wickedness in your life they will not go scot free they will not escape they cannot escape they shall not escape clap your hands and pray 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 Vengeance is here for your adversary. Vengeance. 
vengeance is here for the devil. Vengeance is here against the wicked. The day of vengeance, they will pay. They will pay. They will pay. They will pay. Oh my God. Somebody must pay. Oh, Kapalipia, Apalabra. They stop your business. They stop your travel. They stop your money. They suffer affliction. The devil is a liar. Lift up your voice. Kapradaba, Lipaloa Sabra. Don't stop praying. Paya, Paya, Pena, Panda, 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 Paya, 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 Haya, 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 in the name of Ah, can we read the scripture together? Nahum chapter one. Verse 2. Give me the NIV. Give me the NIV. The Lord is jealous. And avenge. The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord takes vengeance and is filled with wrath. Your God is angry. Your God is angry. The way you are not angry, it is, it is even God is worried. The way God is upset with that guy because of you. And you are taking things cool. God has even God almost wants to let them go because of you, because you have not taken it serious. But tonight, after your prayer, somebody will go down because of you. Some which will die because of you. I sense somebody going down because of you. I sense you rising as the wicked go down. Clap your hands, say yes. Somebody just paralyzed. I saw a woman fall down and I know that somebody's wickedness has just come to an end. I prophesy over your life. You are rising after today and the devil that will stop you just went down. The Lord takes vengeance on his foes and vents his wrath against his enemies. Verse 3. Verse 3 says, well, the Lord is slow to anger but great in power. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. Hey, the Lord is slow to anger. That is why it says that God takes his time to get angry. But now he's angry. Verse 2 says what? He is angry at the wicked. And says he will not let them go unpunished. 
who is it that knows something about your case? About that thing that you lost? You don't even know that somebody was responsible. You thought it was a natural thing. What found the light? You thought it was an accident when it was a work. In the realm of the spirit, there's nothing like accident. Everything is well calculated to the letter. It is step by step. Precept upon precept. Everything calculated to the point. So what you call an accident is not an accident. It was planned. They took your baby. They took your marriage. They took your destiny. They took your future. They took your career. Whatever they've taken from you, my God, by prayer, they will pay for it. They will pay for it. I'm going somewhere with this scripture so that you get to understand. Anyone that is coming after anything of the servant of God. See, we've allowed them for too long. We've joked for them for too long. Hmm? It gets to a point when your child does something. You just, oh, okay, that's something. He breaks the glass. Nothing. Next day, he breaks the phone. Okay? He breaks the television. Okay? What is the next thing? <laughs> your windscreen. <laughs> He'll break it. My God, the next day, a million dollar contract, he will just tear it in pieces. It has to stop somewhere. Tell somebody, it has to stop somewhere. This nonsense must end somewhere. This wickedness must have an end. You stop it by vengeance. When you let them pay for what they did, they will stop. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. His ways are in the whirlwind and the storms and the clouds are the dust under his feet. He's just telling you that your God is mysterious. He has a way. His way is unsearchable. He has a way to punish them. Leave them for God and declare the vengeance of the Lord is upon you. And anyone that knows anything about what happened, they will pay. Tell somebody they will pay. Give me the next verse. The next verse. Ah. The next verse talks about a lot. He rebukes the sea and it dries up. He makes a river. Uh, l- l- let me go to the scripture, the verse that I'm looking for. Mm. Mm. Verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. Actually, verse 6. Verse 6 says, Verse 6 says, Who can withstand his indignation? Who can endure his fierce anger? His wrath is poured out like fire. The rocks are shattered before him. When your God gets ready to destroy her, nothing can stop them. Their charms will not stop it. Their witchcraft will not stop it. Their amulets, what they are wearing under there, they will not stop it. The vengeance of the Lord is poured out like fire. And there is nothing that will stop the enemy from paying for what they did to you and your loved ones. They killed your father, they will pay. Ah, they gave your family diabetes and now when you go to the hospital, they say diabetes runs in your family. Where from that thing? They say hypertension. Can you imagine they will tell you cancer runs in your family? Somebody bought it, somebody planted it. He said there are people that buy and sell families. Give me the next verse. Verse 7 says. Verse 7. I just want you to understand. He said the Lord is good. Don't forget. Because he's angry, don't think that he's not good. <laughs> he's, he's a good God. He loves, his, he loves his children. But the love of a mother for the child is displayed in her anger towards anybody that does something to the child. Do you understand? The depth of love a mother has for the child is also displayed. If a mother loves a child and you slap a child for another head and then the mother is watching, does that mother really love the child? The Lord is a good God. He's a good father. And he will display it by striking somebody for what they did to you. My God. They can't just come here and play like that. They, just, they can't just come here and be troubling the servant of God like that. The devil is a liar. Somebody must pay. Oh my God. Oh, heads must roll. Some heads must roll. This thing cannot go unpunished. He cares for those who trust him. The Lord is angry, but he cares for some people. And because of the care, the next one, the next one, the next one, verse 8, verse 8. Quickly, let's go, we need to pray. Quickly, let's go, we need to pray. Verse 8, but with an overrunning flood, he is a good God, but with an overrunning flood, he cares for the people that love him. Ah, but with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of Nineveh, and he will pursue his foes in the realm of darkness. 
There are some foes. There are some enemies that live in the realm of darkness. God is going to pursue them. They think that because they are in darkness, they cannot be seen. Because they did the thing in the place of darkness. They did the thing and nobody saw. God will pursue them in that darkness. Anyone that under the cover of darkness, while men slept, they came and worried your farm, worried your children. Anyone that attacks your children in the middle of the night by prayer, the Lord will go after them. The Lord will strike them. Say, strike them. Some of your children, they can't even talk. So you don't know the things that are happening to them in the night. Babies are being traumatized by people that live rulers of darkness. We wrestle against them. He, he will pursue his foes into the realm of that. Give me the next verse, the last, the next verse. Verse 9. Whatever they plot against the Lord, he will bring to an utter end. Trouble will not come again the second time. You see, this is the end of the thing. This is the end of the matter. This is the end of the matter. The thing is that what made what is making the enemy think they can come again is because there was no vengeance. It's because they slapped you and they went and they were laughing. There was no slap. It's because they came and stole and, they, and you didn't do anything so they think they can come again. But my God, my God, as vengeance is taking place today, as judgment is striking the wicked today, affliction will not come to your house. Affliction will not arise again. You will not suffer the same shame. Affliction will not rise again the second time. Say yes. Give me the King James for this, for this verse. Whatever the plot, tell somebody whatever. They are planning something. They are cooking something. They are scheming something. They want to come after your family. They want to come after your children. They want to come after your career. You are looking good, but they want to come after. They want to come after the prophet of God. They are angry that we are having stand in the gap. They want to invade the premises. But the devil is a liar. Oh my God, they came before and nothing happened. But this time when they come, they will meet fire. The Lord is angry. The Lord is upset. The Lord is furious. And the one that steps here by fire by prayer. Let them die. Verse 9. What do you imagine? In the imagination against the Lord. That is why the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Casting down what? Imagination. There are schemes and plots in the minds of people to destroy you. They are smiling, but what is going on here? And yet, he will make an utter end. Affliction. If God does not end this thing, affliction will come again. If God does not destroy the enemy, they will come after your, after your children again. Oh my God. You think it's been like some few years of no trouble, so you think you are okay. Can we go after them right now? Can we strike a devil? Can we strike a witch? Can we strike somebody? My God, can you go to your hometown? Can we send the sword to that house? My God, can we send it to that room? There is a particular room that nobody enters. Can we send that room as on fire now? Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are not ready to end it. Some things must end in your life. Some shame must end in your life. How can you just come? A young girl who has not even ma ma married and you have taken a womb and you, have, you are hanging it on a tree. I said, me and my say, somebody must pay. Affliction will not rise again the second time. And affliction will not rise when God takes vengeance. Say by prayer. Say by fire. By fire. Say I declare, I declare. Right, now. right now. Oh God. Oh God. Arise. Arise. Today. Arise. Your day. Arise. To avenge. Arise. Your servant. Arise. For all. Arise. I say for all. Arise. The years. Arise. I have been afflicted. Have been afflicted. I, declare, I declare. Let the wickedness. Arise. In my life. Arise. Come to an end. Arise. Avenge. Arise. My life. Arise. Avenge. Arise. The trauma. Arise. I have suffered. Arise. As I clap. Arise. My hands. I declare. Yeah. I've
affliction cannot, must not, will not arise again. This time around, clap your hands and pray. Hala, 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 hala,
That's why the Bible says, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a double-edged sword in their hand to execute the judgment that is written. It is our duty to execute the judgment that is written. We are the law enforcement agencies of, of, of God. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Corrupt police officers are those that allow those who flout the law to go scot-free. And many of us, we've allowed the enemy to mess up. They are going against the decrees of God and we are not letting them pay. But today, I came to stir you up. My God, you're accusing policemen, but Prophet Pavekidion says, you cannot accuse policemen of corruption and bribery when you are not enforcing and punishing the devil for take coming after your children. The devil transgressed. They trespassed. They crossed the line. When they came after your family. When they came after your children. And you allowed them. When there was a Lord that said, touch not my, my anointed. You allowed them. And if you keep crossing the red line and the police officer allows you, you keep doing it. But one day when one non-corrupt police officer catches you. And doesn't take that one CD bride. And takes you to the police station. And you are taken before, arraigned before the court. Then you pay that day when you even see green from afar. You, you take your left off the accelerator. I'm telling you, after tonight's prayer, the devil will be careful when they are coming to you. They will be careful when your name comes up in their meeting. Mm. They will not handle you anyhow. By prayer today, I prophesy over your life. The oh, next no, time no. your issue comes up, somebody will be careful what they say about you. talking about you and it's because nothing is happening but after tonight not nothing will happen something will happen we will enforce the judgment written there is a judgment for everybody that trespasses that touches you when they shouldn't touch you and God said today is the day of vengeance Isaiah chapter 61 Isaiah chapter 61 I love that scripture the spirit of the Lord is upon me because God has anointed me to preach the good news to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and the opening of prison to all that are, that are bound. These are possibilities in the realm of the spirit. It is only the spirit of the Lord that makes it possible. These are not things you do in the flesh. These are things that you are able to enact and exact when you are in the spirit. Verse 2. Scripture. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Can I proclaim the acceptable year for, of the Lord for you? That this is your year. This is the acceptable year. This is the right year. This is the year for you to break through. It is the acceptable year for you to ascend. It is the acceptable year for you to travel. Somebody cannot deny you. This is the year, not next year. My God, I prophesy by the Spirit of the Lord that this is your year. Say yes. Yes. The acceptable year for your marriage, the acceptable year. For you to start that business. The acceptable year for you to give birth. 
Oh, it's been three years of barrenness, but this is the acceptable year. In his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. This is the time. This is that time. This is that year. This is that season. This is that moment when everything comes together. I prophesy by the Spirit of the Lord that this is your acceptable year. It is a good year to do some business. I know by the predictions of the economy, they are saying times are harder, but it is your good year. It is going to be a good, 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 good year. It is going to be an acceptable year for things to happen. You will not postpone your destiny. You will not postpone your career. You will not postpone your arrangement. You will not postpone anything anymore because this is your acceptable year. And I proclaim it. I prophesy it. I decree it in the mighty the name of Jesus. The next day, God knows that it is not enough to declare an acceptable year. He said, before you begin to enjoy the year, you must also declare a day of vengeance for the Lord. And what does a day of vengeance do? He said, it comforts all them that mourn. Aye. It means without your enemies paying, some of you will not be comforted. You will not be okay. Why are you okay? When you're okay. You are not okay. What will bring comfort is when you know that somebody died because of you. That witch, and they confess, and they said, I took your this, I took your that, I took your that, but something slapped me last night. My God, you will get a call from your village. Did you hear what Reverend Bendoku said about the woman? My God, that will be your story. It looked like a mystery. It looked like a joke. But it will become your reality. I prophesy over you. Vengeance is going to your village. Vengeance is going to your hometown. Vengeance is entering that office. Anyone that knows anything about the trauma, about the accident, about the issue, as you clap your hands, let them perish. Perish. You cannot enjoy. There is a level. See, you cannot enjoy your acceptable year so long as that person is still there. You cannot enjoy it. The day of vengeance. So, right at the time you are declaring the acceptable year, that same time, not the next verse, that same verse, he said, declare vengeance against the enemy. In that same breath, as you declare that this is your acceptable year, he says, don't forget the enemy. Don't forget the enemy because no matter how acceptable it is, once that enemy is there, they can mess it up. There are some people, once they are enjoying life, once they live, their joy is to see your pain. And their pain is when they see your joy. But whoever they are, wherever they are, we came to declare the day of vengeance. Say the day oh, of vengeance. Say the day of vengeance. Say today is the day of vengeance for my life, for my prophet. I declare anyone on the case of the seven of, of the Lord by prayer, let the angel of vengeance strike them. Can we watch what happens? Can we watch what happens after you declare the day of vengeance? It is wonderful. It is just beautiful. Oh my God. After the day of vengeance, verse 3 says, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Mm, you've been crying for too long. After your day of vengeance, my God, you will get beauty for ashes. Oh my God, beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Your life go change. Tell somebody your life go change. Ah, this is what we mean by refuse to live the same. Your life go change. Ah, by just declaring vengeance on the enemy and declaring your acceptable year, you get beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That day might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Your life is about to bring glory unto God. Your story is about about to bring glory unto God. Your testimony is about to bring glory unto God. Ah, my prophet of God said, We refuse to be that.
the same, refuse to live the same. Therefore, today by prayer, I declare a change, a divine action, as you declare vengeance upon the enemy, and you are acceptable here. Let beauty come, let favor come, let blessing come, let joy be released. Say, be released. Be released. The planting of the Lord. Established by the Lord. Planted by the Lord. You are established by the Lord. Divine establishment is coming. You cannot be established. Bible says that take away the wicked from before the king. And his throne shall be established. There can be no establishment for you. You cannot rule as a king. You cannot rule as a queen. You cannot rule as a mother. You cannot rule as a businesswoman. You cannot do proper business. So long as the wicked is there. But take away the wicked from before the king. And his throne shall be established. I declare you will be known as the planting of the Lord. You will be known as a businesswoman. Established by the Lord. Your marriage will be established by the Lord. This house will be be known as a ministry. The prophet of God will be known as a servant of God. Established by God. Say yes. yes. Can we go one more time? With the vengeance thing. Can we go one more time? Let's tell somebody one more time. Say one more. Say one more. Ah, is your enough enough? Have you prayed enough prayers? They can't hide this time. They cannot hide. We have gathered in our numbers. We have gathered in our numbers. They cannot hide. Because they cannot hide. Bible says that this, when the sword of Elijah misses one, the sword of Hazel will slay. Ah, and when the sword of Hazel misses one, the sword of Jehu will slay her. The way we have gathered and we have fired her, there is no escape for the enemy. Not this time around. When you miss them, my God, when your angel misses them, ah, my angel will knock them down. As they step outside, the prophet of God is waiting for them. Ah, stand in the gap. We don't miss our target. We don't miss our assignment. We don't miss the devil. By prayer, they are all going down. Say down. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, what do you get by fighting the wicked? This is what we get. When you finish the wicked, you enjoy life. When you finish wickedness in your life, you enjoy life. You cannot be blessed, but you are blessed, but you are using money for, to pay for sicknesses. Lift up your hands with me. There is a sword in your hand right now. I see a sword in your hands. I see a sword in somebody's hand right now. A sword in your hands. And can you point that sword to the heavens and declare, Oh God of vengeance. As I lift up, as I lift up my, sword, my sword, let this sword, let this sword enter, enter into the chamber, into the chamber of, the wicked. of the wicked. As I lift up, as I lift up my voice, my voice anyone, anyone that has troubled, that has troubled my, life, my life, anyone, anyone that, has that, has that has troubled my family, my family anyone, anyone that has troubled, that has troubled my, prophet, my prophet, anyone, anyone, anyone contending, contending against, against the life, the livelihood, the finance, the marriage, the destiny of the prophet of God, I declare anyone on the case of my family, anyone whose assignment is to end my joy as I lift up my voice, I declare let a sword, let a sword, let a sword be deployed against the allies, I declare by the sword of the Lord, I strike them, I strike them, I strike them, I strike them right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Mm. Joshua chapter 7 verse 25. Joshua chapter 7 verse 25. Ah, komane manokasa. Can we read together? I want to go. Fire. Stone represents the word of God. Fire is representative of the Holy Spirit. 
in the place of prayer by the spirit and by the word of God. We are going to deal with anyone that has troubled you. We will give them trouble tonight. We will give them trouble tonight. He said, and Joshua said, why has thou troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. Tell somebody this day. Oh, tell somebody this day. Tell somebody this day. As for the day the enemy gets trouble, it is your choosing. When do you want it to be done? Oh, when do you want it to be done? Oh, do you want it tomorrow? Oh, should I take it to next week? Or maybe we should plan a stand in the gap next year. When do you want it? Say this day. Ah, say this day. Say this day. Say this day. Say this day. Say today. Anyone that has troubled you. Anyone that has troubled your family. Anyone that has troubled your destiny. Anyone that is on your case. My God, by prayer, we are going to trouble them. How can they trouble us and then they'll be enjoying? Let us send the things back to them. Any trouble that they brought on us. Joshua lost the battle. Men died because of this trouble. And so he said, you cannot kill men and believe it. Anything they did unto you, the Lord returned it unto them. The Lord returned it unto them. Ah, come on, Abra. Psalm 79. Psalm 79, I think it's verse 8. Psalm 79, verse 8. I just want to give you a lot of bullets so that you can fire. Psalm 79, verse 8. Psalm 79. Ademoko suada. Let's see. Imakomono sai. Psalm 79. Oma kavra. Lima konomo. Verse 12, sorry. Verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 11 says that. Let the sign, let the prayers of the prisoners come on today and preserve those that are appointed to die. There are some that are appointed to die. There are some of your family members that they have marked them for destruction this year. There are some of your loved ones that they have been marked. Unless prayers come in, they will go down. My God, he said, let the sign of the prisoners come on today. According to the greatness of your power, preserve those that are appointed to die. Any one of your loved ones that has been marked for death, any one that they have come up against, as you lift up your voice, let that assignment say be scattered. Be scattered. That is not our prayer today. So there are people who have appointed some people to die. Give me the next verse. Verse 12 says what? Verse 12 says what? Verse 12. Verse 12. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom the reproach with which they have reproached thee. Anyone that has troubled you, anyone that has reproached you, we are sending it back to them seven times. We are sending back to the enemy anything they did to you seven times. That is what the Bible says. This is not me. I am no more righteous than the Bible. The Bible says what they did to you sevenfold. It must be returned to them. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. The attack on the prophet, we are returning it seven times. The attack on your family. We are returning it seven times. Say by prayer. By prayer. Say by fire. by fire. Say I declare, I declare. Tonight, tonight in the name of in Jesus, name of Jesus. As, I as I lift up my voice, up my any voice. attack on my family, any attack on my health, any attack on the prophet, any attack on the church, any attack on my career, any attack on my destiny, I declare by scriptures that cannot be broken, I return sevenfold to the enemy, I declare back to center right now as I clap my hands and I stamp my feet, I declare back Back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Return it now. Return the shame. Return the pain. Return the attack. Return the arrow. Clap your hands and pray. Ira Palatina, Ira Palatina, Ira Palatina, Ira 
you are not clapping your hands you are not praying clap your hands get aggressive and pray my god return let it return let the attack return clap your hands and pray the day of vengeance is today as you are clapping as you are praying ah, you are returning the shame you are returning the attack together for the Lord right now. We have crossed the halfway line. Can you celebrate God right now? 24 hours of grace to pray. Oh, 24 hours. Can you believe it? we've done 24 hours already? Can you believe it? we've done 24 hours already? It's been awesome. It's been powerful. Can we celebrate God's goodness, God's grace? Can you put your hands together? Can you shout for what God is doing? We are victorious. Your clapping is weak. Your shouting is low. Clap your hands and give glory to God. Oh my God. What a day. Tell somebody 24 hours more to go. 24 hours more to go. Don't stop praying. Tell somebody, don't stop praying. We said once we start, we don't stop. Oh, don't say it, we don't stop. Say it like the way I'm saying. Say, we don't stop. No, say it with, with, with that accent. Say, we don't stop. Say, once we start, say, we don't stop. Or say it like I'm saying. Say, we don't stop. Uh, I'm not saying stop. I'm saying stop. Say stop. Say we don't stop. Oh, that is what we are here to do. Once we start, we stay on it until we finish the assignment. Hallelujah. And I prophesy over your life in the mighty name of Jesus that grace is coming upon your life. 
to stay on in the place of prayer. Prayer mantles just got released. A fresh set of prayer mantles just came down from heaven. I declare strength right now for you. I declare your strength is being renewed. For they that wait upon the Lord, they don't get weaker, they renew their strength. I declare you are mounting up. You are mounting up. You are suddenly mounting up with wings like eagles. You are running and not fainting. You are going to pray again. And you will not faint. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? Uh, as I was praying, somebody was saying that vengeance, the adding. So I just want to share some, some New Testament scripture so that you understand that this is not Old Testament thing. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. It says seeing it is a righteous thing. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing. It is not only in the New Testament. What is being said about it is that it is a good thing. It is a righteous thing. With God to recompense tribulation on anyone that troubles you. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. New Testament. Paul writing about love. Love is, love is this. Love suffers no wrong. Love, whatever. He said, seeing it is a righteous thing with God. Don't be self-righteous about vengeance. You are not going to kill the person you have, pray, you have prayed. And I prophesy that you will hear the news of the demise of the wicked. They will call you that somebody just died because of you. Oh, somebody just got broken because of you. Somebody just fell down and they are confessing because of you. Somebody came into your house last night whilst you were here and they fell down because of you. I declare that vengeance has visited the home of the wicked because of you. Can you put your hands together and give the Lord your loudest shout of praise in the house? Sin. It is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation on them that trouble you. So the New Testament version of the scripture that Joshua said, Joshua said, you are, why have you troubled us? We were there. It doesn't make sense why you troubled us. It doesn't make sense why they came to destroy your home. If it makes sense, Joshua won't ask why you troubled us. He will say that this is why you troubled us. You troubled us because we troubled you. But he said, why have you even come to work? Why? It doesn't make sense why they came after your children. It doesn't make sense why they are taking your marriage. Because by taking your marriage, it, they don't get married themselves. By taking your womb, it's not that they are going to give birth to a child themselves. By, help, by worrying you, they are not better than you. By killing someone, you don't automatically inherit their position. So Joshua was like, why have you troubled us? The Lord is going to trouble you. And the New Testament said, it is a righteous thing with God. That God will recompense, will pay tribulation, trouble, trauma, sickness, affliction, pain, bankruptcy to anyone that has troubled you. We send it to them right now. Don't be self-righteous about it. We are sending prayers to their camp. Anyone that is troubling the prophet. If you don't want to pray for your own, can we pray for the prophet? Anyone that is troubling the prophet, it is a righteous thing that they suffer some pain, that they suffer some hell. By prayer, let them go down. They will not recover. Say they will not recover. Say they will not recover. They shall not recover. Oh, somebody will not recover. This time around, somebody will not recover. I prophesy over your life. Somebody will not recover. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. We are going to pray with this. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. Second Chronicles. Ah, Makuda Bra. Can we read together? One, two, go. But they mocked the messengers of God. And they despised his words. And they misused his prophets. Until the wrath of God arose against his people. And till there was what? No remedy. Aye. 
what the wicked are going to suffer, there will be no remedy. That kind of sickness that when you go to hospital, there is no cure. That kind of trouble and financial issue that there is no remedy for. For what they have done to you, there is a touch not mandate over your life. They are laughing at you. They are mocking you. The fact that you came for, for, for stand in the gap, your boss is looking at you somewhere. That witch is looking at you and laughing at you. But somebody, the wrath of God, is going to arise against the wicked. There will be no remedy. There will be no escape. Anyone that is mocking you because of your prayer life, because of your prayer, because of your prophecy as you lift up your voice let them be a curse there are many that fall into this bracket mocking God the messenger of God and despising the words misusing the prophet hey misusing the prophet of God and they misuse the prophet of God that is why, that is why you see that is why sometimes we advise you that when it comes to men of God, just stay away. No matter what you think they've done or what you know, just shush. Tell somebody shush. When it comes to prophets, just shush. Because as you keep on doing that, one day the wrath of God will hit you. I'm just advising you so that this our prayer that we are praying you will not be a casualty. You understand? You know sometimes you are praying and the prayer comes to hit you yourself. I was watching one meme like that uh, uh, on, on, on Instagram. And, and the man and the woman were praying. And they said, take, take away the cause of my husband's financial issues. And they were holding hands and they were praying. Let anything responsible for my husband's financial issues disappear. And as they were praying, all of a sudden, the woman disappeared. They were praying about the cost of the financial issue. I'm, it's, it's, it's a year against women, but <laughs> I, I didn't do it. I'm just reporting something. Uh, and the woman just disappeared because the woman is the one who has been buying the things. She's the one who has been spending the thing. So you cannot be praying these prayers and you'll be the same one after you leave this place. You'll be talking against the prophet. You are as guilty about this thing as, as anyone else. Speaking against men of God. You have no place. Even if they are not correct, you have no place to speak that. Bible says, who are thou to judge another man's servant? To his master he stands so forth. I'm not holding brief for any man of God. But I'm saying God will judge everybody. But for you to mock the servant of God, despise his word, misuse the prophet of God. The wrath of God will arise against you. They will take you everywhere it might not go. So let's save ourselves. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, this is just caution. This is just caution. We are going to sit down and pray. I, I, I sense that we're going to pray right now. But we're going to sit down and pray since you want to sit down. Can we sit and pray? Hey, the way they are excited. Can we sit? I'm just going to give you a break and pray. EWC Live will come up very soon. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by prayer. Say by fire. Anyone on the case of my father, the prophet of God, as I clap my hands, let the wrath of God be released without remedy. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Get aggressive and pray. Makaba de brakapa. Le koma na brade badakata. Le pakapa le kapa la brakapa. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. E bade bakapa la kapa. Shapa le kapa la kapa. Re pakapa de bakapa. La koma na kapa la pa. Atabra te bele kapa. Rapa te bele kapa. Atoma na kapa. Ayaba ne bele kapa. Apa te bele kapa la pa. Ashaba ne kapa da ba. Clap your hands and pray. Get aggressive and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Somebody clap. You are not clapping. You are not praying. Apati makopasa. Lipa kopolo sekepa. Araba ne balebra. Ariba do bolo sata. Kaba de bele kapana bra. Le makopolo sentelebra. Lima kabrante balabra. Apaya na bra na kapa. Apada branda balabra. 
Let the wrath of God be released against the wicked. Those that are mocking our prayers. Those that are casting all sort of in situation. Those that are waiting to see what God will do. They will see the wrath of God without remedy. Without remedy. Clap your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you clap your hands unto God? Hallelujah. EWC Live, always a blessing. Let's acknowledge them. Let's celebrate them as they take us to another realm. It's the second half of the show. It's the second half of the prayer. We are pushing on. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Yod he wa he is your name. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your hail, Breathe your name. Just breathe, oh, breathe your name upon me. Your name upon me. Breathe. Father, breathe your name upon me now, now, now. You are all I want. You are everything. Lord, hey. Father to child, spirit to spirit, lighted by your word, and with your breath of life, that's how I come alive, that's how I change my world. Somebody sing and minister to yourself right now. Say, Father to child, Father to child now. Father to child, Spirit to Spirit. Lighted by you. And with your breath of life, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my world Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe Just breathe your name upon me Just breathe, just breathe. 
Father to child From your spirit to my spirit I'm lighted by your word And with your breath of life That's how I come alive That's how I change my world Oh, say father to child, father to child now, now. From your spirit to my spirit, I'm lighted by your eyes. Oh, and with your breath of life, that's how I come alive. Lord, set my life in order. 
so very much for you just let your words shout out to God with a voice of triumph lift your words lift your words lift it up to the king of kings Blessings, 
And we will name them one by one For we've overcome By the blood of the Lamb And the word of our testimony Now regularly Now regularly Now regularly Up your voice and sing the song tonight. up your voice, open up your mouth, begin to talk to God. 48 hours is all about prayer. Open up your mouth tonight. put our hands together for the convener of this great assembly. Are you thanking God for Prophet Gideon Damso? Amen. 
And you just put your hands together for the man of God. What a vessel. Amen. Prayer, I believe, makes a man of God powerful. But one that creates an atmosphere of prayer is a transgenerational transformer. And we thank God for Prophet Gideon because not only does he pray, he, he has obeyed God. Amen. Can you just lift up your hands and just begin to bless the name of the Lord right now. Just lift up your voice. The worship team has led us. Now is the time for us to come to God in prayer. For the last 24 hours, we've been spending time before God. Something happens when we wait on God. Something happens when prayer shifts from just about praying about a need to waiting on God. One of the scriptures that I love so much is Job 14.14. 14. It says, all the days of my appointed time shall I wait until my change comes. You know, there's one thing when you pray and you are asking God for something. And there's another thing when you wait. When we wait on God in prayer, transformation happens. And it's not just about what you brought before God in waiting. Everything about your life changes. And I don't know about you, but this theme called refuse to be the same is something that shifts from just a prayer point to God affecting every aspect of your life. Tonight, you came here for all-round change. Look at somebody and say, I want all-round change. Oh, I can't feel somebody. Look at another person and say, all-round change. I can't feel somebody that is ready to pray. It looks as if your prayer tempo is down. Say, all round change. I still can't feel you. Say, all round change. Oh my God. Please lift up your hands to Jesus. Say with me in the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father. Say, tonight I am open. Oh God. For all round. Say, change. Say change, say change, say change, say change, say change, say change. My God, is there somebody that is ready for change tonight? I love the position of standing the gap this year because we are in between, we are at a transition point. The first six months of the year has ended and after standing the gap, we are getting to the next six months of the year. Amen. And something must happen in our lives. Amen. The best is still, is yet to come. It's still effective. Are you ready to pray tonight? Lift up your hands with me. We are praying. Look at somebody and tell the person, if you just came and you are sitting, you are cheating us. You are cheating us. Don't cheat us. Tell somebody, don't cheat us. Don't cheat us. Don't cheat us at all. You just came for some of us. We've been standing since morning. We've been praying. Don't cheat us. Tell somebody, don't cheat me. Don't cheat me. Don't cheat me. Oh, tell another person, don't cheat me at all. Amen. Are you ready to pray tonight? My God, if you can't stretch, you can't take it. And that is why I like standing in the gap because standing in the gap is all about stretching. It is only those who stretch who can take something from God. Bible says, and he casting down his coming, he came to Jesus. Even blind Bartimaeus had to stretch. Anybody that stretched in the Bible took something extraordinary. And tonight you are here to take something extraordinary. Are you ready to pray this, this evening? Say with me in the name of Jesus. I can't feel you. Say, Heavenly Father. Say, tonight. Oh God. As I clap my hands and I pray. Say, I activate my prayer spirit. Say, oh God. Tonight as I clap. And I pray, let strength be activated, be activated for prayer. Lift up your voice, clap your hands. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Katalamakadulia tires. Zabra tanama kabuli akaba, zebra kabone makabulu ata, 
Zadan kabando la badua, zabranto la makuata, rematuni mi kata, rabatuni mi kapa, rabatuni mi kapa, rabatuni kapa, rabatuni kapa, rabatuni mi kapa, rabatuni mi kapa, rabatuni mi kapa, rabatuni mi kapa, yabatuni mi kapa, yabatuni mi kapa, yabatuni mi kapa. Clap your hands, somebody open up your mouth. La poda na makabrutasa. Are you praying tonight? Are you lifting up your voice? Open up your mouth. Le kabusa katala brata. Le tantala brakaba. Open up your mouth. Le bratunimia. Rapatanama. Rapatanama. Yapatanama. 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 Ya patanama 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 let up your voice open up your mouth ya patola braka padaya Zebra talabra, zebra talabra, zebra talabra, zebra talabra. Say tonight, by prayer, any chain the enemy has placed on my life to hinder me from praying. So pray. I can't feel you. you can't be tired. Look at somebody and say you can't be tired. Look at another person and say the change is now. It's now. It's now. It's now. Are you here with me right now? It's a very volatile atmosphere. You know when we talk about volatile atmosphere, it means anything can catch fire. Anything at all can change your life. Look at somebody and say it's volatile. Volatile. Tell somebody it's volatile. You need to respond to the atmosphere better. You need to respond like anything that 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 we say here, it can make an impact in your life. Are you ready to pray tonight? Say anything, anything. A, sign a sign by the enemy, by the enemy. to restrict to me, me from praying. Pray. Say pray. pray. I want to feel say pray. Say pray. Say pray. Say pray. Say pray. My God, can you put your hands together for Jesus? Are you ready to pray tonight? You know, prayer, and Dumare said, we must begin to believe that God in the mystery of prayer has entrusted us with a force that can move the heavenly world and can bring its power down to it. Prayer is a force. Look at somebody and say, prayer. prayer. I can't feel you. Tell somebody, prayer. prayer. Say, it's a force. Say it's a force by which I can bring things down from heaven. Say tonight I am about to push anything that God did not bring in my life. And I'm about to put things that God has ordained for my destiny. Are you ready to pray? James chapter 5 verse 17 to 18 is where we are praying from. Prayer is a force. My God, I don't know about you, but the only place where Linge Lungu's people like myself can force God to do things is in the atmosphere of prayer. If you don't have a muscle, if you are not heavyweight, if you don't have the kind of strength to be able to put things in the physical, then you must depend in the place of prayer. Because prayer is a force. Look at somebody and say, when I pray, I engage the force of the hand of God. Bible says Elijah was a man subject unto like passions as we are. Yet he prayed and for three and a half years there was no rain. And Bible says and he prayed again and after that the earth there was rain and the earth gave forth it food or it produced food. Do you know what it means? It means that by prayer, Elijah was able to pull things away. And by prayer, Elijah was able to push things to himself. I, I, he was able to 
push things away and he was able to pull things to himself. I don't know what you are seeing in your life that you don't like. But tonight, by prayer, we are going to push it away. Tell somebody, say, push it away. He was able to push away rain for three and a half years. Never play with a prayerful man or a prayerful woman because that person can push things away. Tonight, I want you to look into your life. Anything that you don't, that you want to push away tonight by prayer, say, push away. Uh, I want you to look in the midst of your children. Anything that you have to push away, say, push away. Tell somebody, prayer is a force, it's a force, it's a force. My God, my God, my God. Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violence and the violence taken by force. What is a force? A force means to compel. In prayer, we compel God. Tonight, we are going to compel God. We are going to compel not just God. Though. We are going to compel some things to come out of our life. Tonight, anything that did not come by the permission of God, we are compelling it out. And anything that you expected to have, that the enemy has denied you for so long, by the force of prayer. Yeah. Say, by the force of prayer. Force of prayer. My God. The second thing about force is that it means to overpower by strength. This thing about force, prayer gives you the strength to overpower. Can you, can you please be seated a bit? Let me just talk to you about the force of prayer. Look at somebody and say the force of prayer. We are, we are going to enter into prayer right now, but I want to just encourage you about the force of prayer. When we talk about a force, the, the word that we all know about is that a force is a push or pull. But the definition also goes on to tell us a lot of things. And I would like to talk about some of the definitions. And after that, I'm coming to come to the scientific one. The one that we all know and we're going to engage in prayer. Bible says Elijah was a man subject unto like passions as we are. Yet he prayed earnestly. And when he prayed, there was no rain. And he prayed again. And after the prayer, Bible says that there was rain. And the earth gave forth its produce. What is a force? Why is prayer a force? What do we mean when we say prayer is a force? A force, to force simply means to compel. What the prayer we are talking about, in prayer, we are able to compel. Look at somebody and say, in prayer... I can compel. A prayer is the only place where you compel the enemy to evict your life. In a place of prayer, you are able to compel things. You are able to compel powers. You are able to not just force the enemy out. You are also able to force the enemy to comply. In the book of Luke chapter number 18, the Bible says that, and Jesus told them this parable to the intent that men ought to always pray and not to paint. Jesus said that the, he talked about a parable of a widow and the widow went to make a wicked, a wicked judge. And while he was teaching us about prayer, he said, constantly went to the wicked judge and the wicked judge because of the compelling, because of the continual compelling, because of the continual going to, because of the continual pushing of the, of the judge. Bible says that eventually the judge said, though I fear God, I fear not God, nor man, because of your prayers, because of your consistent budging, because of your consistent engagement, because of your consistent compelling, because of your consistent harassment, I have no other choice but to do for you. Uh, somebody tonight, can I tell you that if they rejected you when you went there in, in person, they can't reject your prayer. If they said that you are not qualified physically, when it comes to your prayer, nobody can disqualify you. And I don't know how many people have said it is not possible, but today by prayer, we are going to compare the enemy to exit your home exit the life of your children, your business and we are going to compel whatever that, whoever that God has ordained to be a blessing in your life. Prayer compels look at somebody and say prayer compels a force also means to overpower by strength. In prayer we get strength to be able to overpower there are things that you need to overpower there are things that you need to conquer. There are things that you need to override. And the only place where you get the capacity to be able to overpower the enemy, to be able to overpower events of life, to be able to overturn and be able to sit and conquer the affairs of life is in a place of prayer. Prayer gives you the capacity to overpower. 
The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter number 32, verse number 24, about a man by the name of Jacob. All this while Jacob had been a man that every time when he got into trouble, he would run away. When he got into trouble with his brother, the Bible says he ran into the house of Laban. When he got into trouble with Laban, the Bible says he ran away. Even when he was coming back and he met his brother Esau, he ran away. But in the atmosphere of prayer, something came upon him that even though he was wrestling with an unseen being, with a being greater than himself. In fact, the Bible says at the angel of the Lord, as he wrestled even with angel from God, there was some strength that came upon him for him to be able to hold on until the angel bless him. Tonight I don't know where you think you are weak. I don't know where you think you are falling short but in this atmosphere of prayer and strength is coming upon you to overpower every wickedness to overpower every contention to overpower every delay anybody and anything that says you are not qualified by prayer we overpower them in the name of Jesus. Prayer overpowers. And force also means to impel to press. It will impel. To press. To impel. Look at somebody and say, to press. I can't feel you. In the atmosphere of prayer, we impel. We press. We push on until something happens. Now, I quite remember in the book of Mark chapter 10, verse number 46 to 52. The Bible says there was a man by the name of Blind Bartimaeus. And one of the things I like about Blind Bartimaeus was that although he lacked in an aspect of his life, he used the other aspect of his life that he didn't lack. And now many of us, once you lack in a certain aspect of your life, you call yourself disabled, you call yourself challenge, you call yourself unqualified and you begin to give up. This man could not see, but he said the fact that I can't see means I can't speak. The fact that my eyes can't see doesn't mean I'm not going to, I'm going to stand there and let the enemy worry me. I may not see outside but in the place of prayer, I can engage God with my mouth. I can speak to God. I don't know what you think you lack. It may be you might lack some education, you might lack some family background, you might lack some capital, but in the place of prayer, you have the capacity to engage God, to press, to push on until something happens. Prayer gives you the ability to press. And tonight, we are going to press. We are going to press every button that has to be pressed. We are going to impel. We are going to press until something good happens to us. We are going to press until God touches our life. We are going to press until God hears us. Bible says, why the people even said you should keep quiet? And he shouted them off. Tonight, Certain things might tell you to keep quiet. Your educational background might tell you to keep quiet. How you are feeling might tell you to keep quiet. Your body might tell you to keep quiet. But somebody that engages the force of prayer says, everything might be speaking, but I choose to shout even them all. Tonight, by your shout, any door that they've shut to you, we press into it. We press into victory. We press into healing. We press into miracles. We press into advantage. Prayer gives you the capacity to press. In the book of Mark chapter 5, the Bible talks about a woman with the issue of blood. And if a woman has been hemorrhaging for 12 years, I can as well think that that woman will be so weak. But Bible says he, she lifted up her voice and prayed and said, oh, if I can only but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. And the Bible says that, and she came into the press, which means that when she prayed, strength came to her for her to be able to press. I don't know how weak you think you are. I don't know the number of people standing ahead of you in the office, in the contract, but tonight, by prayer, we are pressing unto a miracle, unto a testament, unto a healing. She came from the press. The press could not stop her. Tonight, what has been stopping you? As we engage God in prayer, they can stop you outside, but from the place of prayer, you are going to have advantage. Prayer gives you the capacity to press. Look at somebody and say, I'm going to press. Tell somebody, I'm going to press. Say, I'll keep pressing. I'll keep pushing until I have my testimony. Prayer gives you the capacity to press. The word force also means enforce. Look at somebody and say enforce, enforce, enforce. Prayer gives you the audacity to enforce. You have the capacity to enforce things in a place of prayer. I remember in the book of 1 Kings chapter 18 verse number 40 to 44 
Bible says, and Elijah said unto Ahab, he said to him, he said, go up and eat for I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. And while Ahab was eating, Bible says, Elijah put his head in between his knees. And in spite of the pain, in spite of the pain, in spite of the challenge, the man continued to pray. In the place of prayer, we enforce things. What has God told you tonight? You have the capacity to enforce it. What has God spoken over your life? What has God said? Prayer gives you the power. It gives you the tenacity. It gives you the audacity. It gives you the strength. It gives you the energy to enforce things. Prayer gives us the force to enforce things. You are here to enforce. Tell somebody, I don't know what God told you, but you have power to enforce. The word force also means to push or to pull, as we all know. I can't say all the definitions that are there by force, but one of the things I can tell you that in a place of prayer, we can push things and we can pull things. We can push the enemy away and we can push testimonies away. We can push wickedness back and we can pull things towards your life. I don't know the things you've been seeing in the life of people and you've been wishing and you've been asking and you've been seeking and you've been talking to yourself. When will I have it? Can you submit it in the place of prayer? Instead of being jealous, pray. Instead of being angry, pray. Instead of being frustrated, pray. Instead of giving up, pray. Instead of saying, when will I also have my prayer? Because in the place of prayer, you are able to pull things towards your life. What are you wishing for yourself? Tonight, we are going to pull things. We are going to pull testimonies. We are going to pull healing. We are going to pull miracle. We are going to pull all kinds of breakthrough to our life. Because in the place of prayer, we are able to pull things. Elijah was a man. And Prof has said it so many times. Many men of God have spoken about it. But Elijah was a man. Anytime I read that scripture, I'm encouraged. Because I don't care the picture that people have about Elijah. But I see Elijah in me. I see Elijah as a Lenge Lungus man like myself. Very slim like me. He does not have the ca capacity. If wind blows. One time I was standing outside there with one of our church members and the wind was blowing. And I saw that the wind was trying to sweep me away. So I held him and I said, in the name of Jesus, hey, we take dominion. The spirit of God is wind. We possess the wind in the name of Jesus. The guy didn't understand it, but I was standing my grounds. In a place of prayer, you get capacity to do things that naturally you can't do. I don't know what they said you can't do, but you can pull blessings to your life. You can pull favor. You can pull changes. You can pull your marriage. I don't know when they said your healing will come, but tonight I don't care about that. All I know is that if I can stand in prayer, things will happen in my life. In the book of Romans chapter number 12, verse number 12 to 13, he said, rejoicing in hope, patience, in tribulation, but he said continuing instant in prayer. I like that so much. And this afternoon while we were praying, God was giving me ins insight. He said continuing instant in prayer. There is an instant of prayer. The instant there means the time of prayer. Bible says there is a time for every purpose. And there is a season for every activity. What is this season? It's a season of 48 hours non-stop prayer. And what is God requiring of me? He said, at this instant, I must continue. I must not stop. I must not give up. Continuing in the instant of prayer. In the moment of prayer, you don't give up. Tell somebody, don't give up. In the moment of prayer, you can't be tired. Tell somebody you can't be tired. Look at somebody and say, don't lose focus. Don't let your pain cause you to lose focus. I was watching a video of Hussein Bolt, and I loved that video so much. And I shared it this morning. I want to share it with you again. That Hussein Bolt, they asked him, why, do you, why were you constantly breaking records? Why was it that 100 meters look as if, it look as if after you've run, you still have energy to run more? Then he said, uh, before I come for every race, I deal with the problem of most runners. Most athletes like myself, whenever they get tired while they are running or exercising, they see it as the moment for them to stop. He said, when they feel the pain, when they feel the tiredness, when they feel their muscles acting up, 
when they feel their body responding to them in pain, when they see that the troubles are increasing, when they see that the challenges are going up, to them, it is a moment for them to stop. But he said, for me, I see it as an opportunity for me to do what my friends and my people have been done. I see it as an opportunity. So when I feel the pain, I push more because I know that when, the, when push comes to Saul and we are all running, we get to that pain limit. Because I broke mine in the place of exercise, when I come to the place, I don't feel the pain. So while we are running, when people, all of us are pulling and all of them feel they've reached their limit, for me, I now know that I'm now starting. Prayer! At the place of prayer, we deal with the pain. Tonight, I don't know the pain you are carrying, but I know the medicine to your pain. The medicine to our pain is prayer. Tell somebody prayer. prayer. We are going to rise up and pray right now. But I want you to remember this man. The prayer is a force that God has given to us by which we are able to pull things from heaven to our lives. And we are able to push wickedness out of our life. What is the thing that you don't want to see in your life? What is the thing that 2022 you look at yourself and you're asking yourself, I don't want to carry this shame. I don't want to carry this pain. I don't want to carry it. It's time to push it out by prayer. Bible says, by his strength shall no more prevail. And prophet illustrated the last time with 2 Kings chapter 13 that Elisha called the king, Joash, and he said, stretch your hands. And he took the arrow and he said, he put his hand upon his hand. He put his hands upon his hands. And he said, shoot. And he was able to shoot. What prayer does is that prayer brings an additional hand on your hands. It brings an additional hand on your effort. So that you don't face life like the same way people fail. Tonight, I don't know what you need to pull in your life. But by prayer, we are pulling blessing. We are pulling healing. We are pulling testimonies. And anything that has to be pushed away from our home, we push that thing out in the name of Jesus. Please rise up on your feet right now. Rise up on your feet. My God. Is somebody ready to push some things out of your life? I can't feel it. Is somebody ready to push some things? Is somebody ready to push some things? If you are ready to push it, put your hands together for Jesus. My God. I want you to fix yourself somewhere. If you want to stand in a circle, if you want to stand alone, if you want to stand in a corner, just make sure you pray. Because we are going to engage the force of prayer. Anything that has stayed in our life for so long, tonight, let that thing get away. Any sickness, disappointment. I want you to look at your prayer. I want you to look at, unto God and I want you to look at the problem. Look to God and look at the problem. Anything that has stayed in your marriage for so long, let that thing say, ouch! I want to feel you. Anything that has stayed in this nation, contended with this nation, that we have accepted as a norm. Tonight, say out. Anything that has stayed in the church. Wrestled against the body of Christ. Contended against Christian. Tonight, by prayer, say I push it out. Are you ready to push it right now? Stretch forth your right hand with me. Say with me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say by divine authority. By divine authority. Say tonight. tonight. Oh, I want to feel you. I want to feel. I want to feel you praying like you came for forty-eight hours. The way you are praying is no, 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 no. No, it's like no. I want to hear you before we come to the microphone. Say Holy Ghost. Ah, I still can't feel your voice. Say Holy Ghost. Say tonight by prayers. Oh God, as I clap my hands and I pray, anything. That has stayed in my marriage, in my family, in my church to cause trouble, affliction. So I push it out. Say so as I clap and I pray, I push it out. Clap your hands and pray somebody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands and pray. Lift up your voice. Open your mouth. Etayada. 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 Etayada.
66 verse 8. Can you put it tonight? We are going to push. Look at somebody and say, push it out. Push it out. Push it out. I can't feel it. Tell somebody, push it out. I want you to position yourself somewhere because you're about to push out some stuff. Look at somebody and say, it's time to push it out. My God, my God, my God. Tonight, akune me katayas. Anything that you've been pregnant of for so long, can we engage the force of prayer? Say, I push it out. Ah, how many of us are pregnant with ideas, pregnant with vision, pregnant with plans, pregnant with dreams? Anything that you've been carrying, wishes, dreams, expectations, prophetic word, promises, contracts, deals, dreams, hopes, say ouch! I want to feel you. Say ouch! Bible says, as soon as Zion traveled, I love traveling prayers. Look at somebody say, as soon as. If you want instant miracle, as soon as you have to travel, tell somebody travel. My God, say travel. Say prayer. Travel. Tonight, anything that we have conceived, anything that we've been carrying, dreams and expectations, the only place where we can download them is in a place of prayer. The only place where we can give back to our expectation. We can give back to that dream. It's not by talking about it. It's not by gossiping about it. It's not by being tired. It's not by complaining. But it's in the atmosphere of prayer. Are you ready? I want you to stand somewhere that you'll be free. I don't want you to stand in a circle. Stand in a... It's like you are standing with somebody and the person's energy. Look at somebody standing by and say, give me good energy. Give me good energy. They'll say, give me good energy. I'm about to push. Tell somebody, tell somebody, when I go crazy, don't get angry with me. I'm just pushing my baby. Look at somebody and say, when I go crazy, don't get upset with me. I'm just pushing my miracle. Look at somebody and say, when I go crazy, don't shout at me. Don't look at me anyway. Don't look at me somehow. I'm just ready to download a revival. Somebody ready to download. If you are ready, give God a shout. Hey! 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 Ah, say Holy Ghost, tonight in a place of prayer, I 
push out my miracle as I clap and I pray. Oh God, let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Padia, 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 Padia. Pia, 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 Clap your hands. This thing has to come out. You have to live here with your baby. You have to live here with your miracle. Oh my God. Whether you are online or you are in the auditorium, clap your hands. Open your mouth. Shout. You have to push it. You have to push it. You have to push it. Let it come out. Your marriage, your blessing, the revival, the healing, the breakthrough. Kappa, Raya, 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 Somebody push! Yeah! It's coming out! Don't get distracted! The miracle is coming! The revival is coming! The healing is coming! Somebody push it! Yeah! Shata! Uprata! Aprata! Aprata! Ipati!
Rapadua Rapadua Tia 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 I want you to put your right hand on your belly. Say, I push it out. Ah, I want to feel you today. Ah, is there somebody that is desperate tonight? I like how Hannah prayed. Bible says, Hannah said to Eli, he said, don't look at your daughter or your handmaid as one of the daughters of Belial. For in bitterness of my soul, in bitterness of my spirit, have I poured out my soul. If you want to deliver, it comes with a pouring out. I want you to stand somewhere, open your legs a little bit like that so you can have stamina. Say, I push it out. <laughs> ah, when I mention the thing, you are going to scream and say, I push it out. Are you ready tonight? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready tonight? Put your right hand on your belly. Open your legs a little bit so you can have some grounding. And I don't want you to look at anybody. Look on the ground so that the way somebody's look will not distract you. Is that okay? If, you, if it's okay to you, you can close your eyes. But you can look on the ground and you want to see. Amen. I want you to put your right hand on your belly. Financial miracles. No, no, no. Revival. Healings. Miracle, fresh oil, my marriage, favor, increase, healings, testimonies, dreams, vision, expectation, longings, testimonies. See, house, 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 house. Can you clap your hands like it just came tonight? Hey! Are you clapping your hands for Jesus? Look at somebody and said, I just downloaded it. Look at another person and say, I just claimed it. Shake somebody if it's possible and tell the person, you can give a person a fist bump. Whatever you are comfortable, hold the shoulder of the person and say, I just got it. I just claimed it. I have it. I am living here with my miracle, with my blessing, with my testimony, with my glory, with my favor. I am taking it. 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 Nothing can stop me. Hey! 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 When the prayer team we pray and it gets to a certain tempo, we say pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to feel you. Say pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Say. Hey! <laughs> oh my God! Kapatini mi ataya. Sampakataya. This is the last thing. And this one, you have to pull some things to your life. Look at somebody and say, Some things have to enter my life. Look at somebody and say, I just entered my closet. I need some garments there. Some garment of favor. Some garment of opportunity. Something has to enter. Something has to get into my bank account. Something has to come. I have to pull this. <laughs> Listen to me, we are going to pray. Do you know, in the book of Matthew chapter 15, the Bible talks about the Canaanite woman. And the Bible says that when she came to Jesus, Jesus said, I am not sent, but except to the household of Israel. And the woman said, and he, she kept on pestering Jesus. He kept on moving. And the disciples said, Lord, send her. 
And Jesus said, ah, for me, I'm not going to send her or let her stay because she's not my assignment. But the woman continued. And Jesus said, it's not fit for the things that are supposed to be given to children, to be given to dogs. And said, even dogs, when the thing falls, when crumbs fall on the table, they're able to take it. And Jesus said, woman, great is your faith. Great is your faith. I have never seen his faith like this in Israel. Say, so go and let it be done unto you as you have wished. And Bible says, in that same hour. Now, the mystery about it is that the woman was Canaanite. And Jesus came for the household of Israel. Before Jesus went to the cross, Canaanites were belong, we belonged to the Gentiles. And so she was not qualified. And Jesus said, this time is for Israelites. Wait for me to go to the cross. But the woman looked at her daughter. And she's going to look at possibly a year or so or two for Jesus to go to the cross. Say, so by the time Jesus will go to the cross and you shed your blood, my daughter will be dead. So, by my prayer, I am pulling it to today. What was supposed to take place on the, after the cross, the woman experienced it before the cross. By prayer, you can put things into your time. I don't know what time they told you you can get a house. I don't know the time they said you can get married. I don't know the time they said you can get a breakthrough. But tonight in the place of prayer, if it happened to the woman, you can pull it to your life. Tonight, look at somebody and tell the person, I take the time out of it. I take the time. Look at somebody and say, no more delay, no more delay. Look at another person and say, I can't wait any longer. Are you ready to pray tonight? My God, anything that is locked up in the future, anything that is locked up in the distance, Jesus. Proverbs 25, 25 says, as cold water is a, to a testy soul, so is good news from a far country. Anything that is too much in the short, far distance tonight, Jesus. by prayer, say, I pull it. I, pull it. Oh. I don't care the time that they gave you. You can make it happen now. I don't care what they are. If it happened to the Canaanite woman, Bible says the scriptures were written for our learning. It means that they put it there so that you can learn from it that certain things can take a long time, but if you can stay in prayer on it, it can happen in that moment. Yes. Are you ready to pray tonight? Stretch forth your right hand with me. Say tonight, tonight. by prayer, by prayer. Any, blessing, any blessing, any favor, any favor. anything, anything. That I, that I need in my room, in my room. but it's locked, it's locked in time. In time. Anything, Anything that, that will, make will make my life better, better. if it's close, it's close. but it's very far. very far. Tonight, by the hand of the Lord, I pull into my life testimony, blessings. As I clap and I pray, I pull it, I pull it, I pull it, I pull it. Clap your hands and pray. Pull the blessing. Pull the heel. Two minutes. Or pull in the favor. Two minutes. Hey. I can't wait any longer. Too many things will go bad. I need this thing in my now. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. I can't wait till 2023. Be provoked. Hey! Hey, somebody pray. Hey! Pull that blessing. Pull it to your face. Taya! 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 Pala! Taya! 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 One twenty seconds. You can't delay. 
scripture Jesus said and Peter David said I long for the waters of the wells of Bethlehem then the Bible says that he said between David and the water that was at the well by the gate of Bethlehem there was a garrison anything standing between us and what we want to pull to our side let the garrison say pray I want to make your hand like this I want you to get the face like this we are engaging things in the realms of the spirit. It's like making like you have a hammer in your hands. Every garrison, every group of people, every system, every restriction, every barrier, every feeling, every idea, mindset. Surprise! 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 Are you ready now? Now, anybody that we need to bring what is far from us into our lives, say, be released. I want to feel you. Say, be released. Some of us, and David, he needed three men. He needed three mighty men. Some of us, you need ten mighty men. Some of us, what you are, what you are longing for, eh? you need twenty mighty men. Some of us, you need one man. Some of us, we need five people. I don't care the number of people. Whoever that must bring what is far near to your life, say, be released. Say, tonight, tonight. by prayers, prayers. I declare, declare. oh Lord, Lord. 
any man you have assigned to help me. I want you to look at it like, a, like you know, you call it the tag of peace. You know, the tag of peace, you can't win, one man can win. You need somebody to hold. Some, some, some people stand at the back and they have the rope. Sometimes they even, they even tie the rope around them. And they are standing there like that. Some people are using their hand. Some, whatever, whoever that we need to tie the rope so that we can pull that thing to you. Let those people stand there. I hope you are here with me. I want you to fix your mind like that. This miracle, eh? When Peter, Jesus told Peter to launch into the deep. And he launched into the deep and he, was start, he started pulling the thing. He said, no, 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 no. This blessing, I can't pull it alone. Because if my net is about to break. And he called Peter, James and John. He called James and John. He said, come, come, come and come. This one eh, is too much for you to carry. Anybody that we need, anybody that must sign a document, anybody that must take a stand for you, anybody that must work with you, in order for you to have that dream met, let that person say, be released. I want to feel you. Say, be released. Say, tonight, any man or woman I long for, I desire to help me bring my longings to manifestation. Say, tonight, by prayer, say, be released. Amen. We are going to pull some things to us shortly, and then that will be all. But before we pull that, can we use that to pray for the prophet of this house? Because it seems to me he is the vessel that God is using to help many of us get things closer in prayer. Are you here with me right now? And some few minutes times, he'll be ministering to us. And we need to pray that unction will come upon him. We need to pray that oil will come upon him. We need to pray that whatever that must come upon him, in order for him to break the garrison, in order for him to fed the water and bring it to us, in order for him to bring the prophetic word, in order for him to bring that prayer, in order for him to bring that direction, in order for him to bring that inspiration, in order for him to lead us to that place. Say tonight, tonight. by prayers, I lift up intercession on behalf of the prophet Gideon Danso. Tonight, oh God, I submit your servant in the oil of the Holy Ghost. Say tonight, let the unction of God say come upon him. Let fresh oil say be released. Say release, 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 release. Say tonight, let utterance say be released on the servant of the Lord. Say by prayers, I declare utterance say be released. Say be released. Say be empowered. Oh prophet Gideon, damn so demonstrate the power of God. Say and now any evil eye that is set on the man of God because of the mandate, the assignment. Say be pierced. Satan doesn't like people that like prayer. He will do anything to frustrate them. Can you do your two hands, your hands, your fingers like this? Say pierce. When I mention the eye, you say pierce. Any eyes from the media, from political circles, religious circles, from the church, from malams, fetish priests, from the city, around the world, say pierce, pierce. Pierce, 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 pierce. Now you are ready. I want you to do your two hands like this. When I mention it, say I pull it to myself. Are you ready right now? Your two hands like this. Your two hands like this. And with your arms open. Please tonight, eh? Things are happening here. Namusuka dayas. While we are praying, God is doing things. While we are praying, things are happening in the spirit. Please stretch forth your hands like that. When I mention the kind of thing, you say, I pull it to myself. Are you ready right now? My God, my God, my God. Revival! Pull it to myself. Na, 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 na. Hey, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violence. And violent men take it by force. Please hear me carefully. You have not seen an aggressive mother. When a mother is aggressive, 
over the children. Or a woman is aggressive over her husband. You see that there's some craziness in the aggression. Some of us are too gentle. It's like your hand is one hand is in a pocket and you are checking in. No, 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 no. Please. I want you to stretch your hands like that. Say, I pull it to myself. Pull it to myself. Aha. Financial breakthroughs. I pull it to myself. My healing. I pull it to myself. Blessings. I pull it to myself. Deliverance. I pull it to myself. Next levels. Souls. New campuses. New churches. New souls. Deliverances. Promotions. Increase. Companies. Favor. Opportunities. Deliverance. Next level. Glory. Testimony. Miracles. Say now. 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 Are you shouting? Before we shout, I want you to look at somebody standing by you and do your hand like this to the person and say, Look at my hands. And tell the person and fold the hand and say, I just got it. And I put it in my pocket. I have it in my pocket. Tell somebody you can't take it away from me. Can you shout like you have it? Can you shout like possess it? Can you shout like you claim it? Now, <laughs> we are going to praise God like we have it. Is that okay? We need it to be seen like we, we are going to dance like you have it. I don't know how to dance, but I will dance tonight. Hey! Woo! Are you ready to dance? This one, there is no formula. It's dancing like you have it. Are you ready to dance? We are going to sing some praises. We are going to jump around. We are going to dance around. We are going to sweat a little bit like you just got something in your life. Are you ready tonight? Ah, 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 ah. Are you ready tonight? Begin warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Everybody say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
no more. 